hello everyone and welcome to this video in this video we're going to uh, have a general overview of our studio and then we're going to learn a bunch of stuff like changing the directory and changing the appearance of our studio so let's jump into our studio and start okay so when you're going to open our studio it's gonna look like this first of all I'm going to go and click file and then new project and I'm going to have three options here one is new directory which is the one that I'm going to choose it right now second option if you have an existing directory and the third one if you want to link it to a version control let me explain a little bit a new directory if you are working on a new project like this one right now we are working on new project which is uh, for this course and if you have an existing directory you want to go and link it and work on it uh, currently I have another directory here it's from uh, MISC Academy where I took a course so right now I have all the data files and our files which are related to that project but right now I'm going to start a new project for this course or the third option is if you have a friend who is working on a project and he would like you to contribute to that project he's going to upload the project on github and then he, you're going to link it through a version control which is git so i'm going to click a new directory and i'm going to use a new project i'm not going to make up our package or our shiny web application these are a little bit advanced stuff so i'm going to click on new project here i'm going to rename the directory i'm going to rename it the mis dash r course and for the uh, here's gonna tell me create a grid repository I'm not going to make it uh, and open uh, in a new session uh, I'm going to click on open a new session a new session is going to basically close the R studio and open it in a new window or uh, because you're working on two projects so right now for me I have the MISC uh, Academy project lo uh, loaded so if I'm going to click on this one, the, a new window is going to open and with a new project. But right now I want to remove this uh, project and replace it with the, uh, the one that I'm creating right now. So I'm going to remove the open a new session. I want it to st start in this session. Here, where do you want to save it? So I'm going to go to browse and then I'm going to go to document and then I'm going to type the MIS our course then I'm gonna click open you can go and save it in your documents you want you want to save it on desktop it's up to you so here the name of the directory here's the location of the directory I'm gonna click on create project it's going to switch from the current project to that new project and as you can see it loaded for me on the same window if I click on open a new session it's going to open a new window for me so now I have created the project first thing I want to do is I don't like the way our studio look like so I'm gonna go to tools here click on tools and then go and click on global options and then here click on appearance and here you can obviously the font size is gonna be 12 or 10 I'm gonna make it 18 because I want a large font so whenever I write uh, any code uh, so you guys can see it clearly here an editor theme I'm gonna go scroll down and I'm going to use pastel on dark I like this theme it's comfy for my eyes I would if you like dark mode you click on this one and apply and then ok and this is how it's going to look like there is a window missing here you can click on file and then new file and then R script or control shift N or you can just come here and click on our script and here we're going to have our script here is window number one this is window number one the environment here it's window number two the console here is window number three and here the window number four is where I see my directory and my files so here in window number one here I write my code and in console where in window number three is the console where the results appears 
and window number two is where I uh, I can see the variables and data sets that I have in my project and in number in window four here I can see the files and the R scripts that I have in this project right now right now I have nothing because I just created this project in front of you for example if I'm gonna click 4 plus 4 and then I click on run or I'm going to click on the shortcut control enter you guys can see here the purple one is the code and 8 is the answer here in environment I have nothing let me just go and click uh, let's say create a variable and then assign my name Fahad control enter and now I have here variable name and what the value okay same thing if I have age then I click on 25 here I can see the value that uh, variable is age and the value is 25 now let me just come here and click on this sign if you add untitled one and then there is an asterisk here small star that's mean this file or script is not saved you guys click on this one and I'm going to click on here let's say data types data types and here I have it on my project here I can list all the R scripts and now it's saved okay this was a quick overview of R studio